Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I treat for pests, specifically mealybugs and spider mites. This Marble Queen Pothos unfortunately caught mealybugs from another infected plant that entered my home. So you're going to need some isopropyl alcohol, this is just regular rubbing alcohol, um, some cotton balls, you can also use q-tips, and then also some makeup brushes. This mixture is half water, half rubbing alcohol, and I also put a splash of neem oil in it, and that gives a nice residue on the leaves that pests seem to hate. Okay, so what are mealybugs and how do I identify them? Mealybugs are these little white bugs that look kind of fuzzy, they have two long antennas, they are, in my opinion, the most disgusting of all of the plant pests. I highly dislike them. Um, they remind me of like little white cockroaches. Anyway, they love to hide in every little part of your plant. Down at the base, they will hide in the crevice of a new leaf. They will bury themselves inside like the under edge of a leaf. Any little tiny part they can squeeze their body into, they will. And they will hide from you so easily. Um, so it's very important to be extremely thorough with these guys. They lay their eggs in these disgusting little webs that they make. Um, and this is like a really easy identifier of mealybugs if you find these, um, this white webbing. And you can look in places, you know, especially at the tops of the leaves and the heart shape. They love to hide up there. Same goes for spider mites. That's a really great spot for spider mites to hide as well. Also, another sign that your plant may have pests would be these spots on the underside of the leaves showing that the plant is getting some damage. That's like where the pests have attached themselves, started, you know, leaching that nutrients from your plant. Um, so that's a really good indicator as well. Okay, so we know our plant has pests, now what do we do about it? I like to do this, not everyone um, does this step, and this is not completely necessary, but kind of makes me feel better. So I'm taking a cotton ball and dipping some rubbing alcohol straight onto the cotton ball, kind of soaking it so it's pretty lathered up in that alcohol. Um, this is not going to hurt your plant. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to apply it directly onto any visible mealybugs. This will kill them instantly and they turn into like a little tiny brown bug. Um, and I just like to do this to spot treat it before I treat the entire plant. Um, it just kind of gives me the peace of mind that I'm like killing them and uh, maybe I just like to do it. <laughs> Alright, you, so you can see this little one is on the move. They move pretty fast all over your plant so it's easy to see why they travel so quickly. So, I'm just gonna dab him. Oop, oop. Got him. Alright, so I told you guys they like to hide up in those curled up new leaves, ruining your plant from the very beginning. So, I'm just gonna take my cotton ball. Boom, dead. Here's a really good view of one. And goodbye. Gotcha. Alright, so now that our killing spree is over, we're going to move on to our next step. So, you're going to want to take your spray, which is half alcohol, half water, and some neem oil, and you're going to spray down your makeup brush. This little makeup brush was from the dollar store. Anyone will do. You do not have to get fancy with it. Um, so I'm just going to soak it all down, get it all nice and covered in our mixture, and we're going to wipe down our plant with this. Alright, so you can get as fancy as you want as long as you paint along the edges and the grooves of your plant. So your plant kind of grows outward from the center, so you're going to want to go inside those grooves. You don't want to just like paint directly up and down because your bristles will not get into those little tiny edges. So I'm going to paint with the grooves of my leaf and I'm going to be really careful to get deep inside that crevice right there in case any eggs or super tiny mealybugs or spider mites are hiding. So like I said, spider mites like to lay their eggs inside the little 
grooves of your leaves um, and they're virtually like invisible the eggs themselves unless you're using a flashlight so it's really important to paint every little piece of your leaf super duper thoroughly and I will actually repeat this entire process several times throughout the oncoming weeks because your pests will lay eggs and you might not reach some of those eggs uh, during the first treatment. So it's really important to do repetitive treatments of your pest plants. One other thing I did not mention you guys, isolate your plants. I cannot tell you this enough. Uh, mealybugs are contagious, spider mites are contagious through touching. Um, so you're going to want to isolate this plant into a room that it is by itself and safe from your other collection. So there's a nasty little home of mealbugs that I'm gonna go ahead and swipe to take care of. So I just swiped it down the middle and now I'm gonna paint along each edge and see how I'm starting in the center of the leaf and then I'm wiping outwards. I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the back. And I'm gonna do this for every single leaf on this plant, also all the way down the stalks and the stems. This is a mealybug's favorite place to hide, is deep, deep, right down in there, and they're so easy to miss, you guys. That's why it's very important to be extremely thorough when you are treating, especially when they're on a plant that has um, those little crevices like that. Yeah. See? Perfect spot for mealybugs. So gross. Even the tiny little curled edges of the tips of your leaves. When I say they get everywhere, they get everywhere. Man, I hate these guys. So for the purposes of this video, as soon as I realized there were mealybugs on this plant, I stuck it outside and left it there for like a week so it could get really bad. Um, I ultimately came to the choice of throwing this plant away because the infestation was just so bad and I didn't want to risk bringing it back into my collection, but it does have sentimental value to me. My dad actually gifted me this plant, which made me even more sad to actually throw it out. I've never done that before, but I did decide to take a cutting of it and so I'm going to cut it right down here, right below a node, and I'm just going to root it in some water. Um, but first, I am going to treat it extremely thoroughly, make sure there's absolutely no chance of mealybugs living on this cutting. And that way I can still have a piece of my plant and I'm not risking, you know, my entire collection by bringing back pests into my home. I'm going to wipe down this cutting and propagate it in some water. I will keep you guys updated on how it's doing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stick around to watch my Ficus Elastica Rehab. And thank you guys so much for watching. Alright, so this is just a little bit of bonus content for the pest video. I also pre-recorded this um, a few weeks ago on my little rubber plant here. This is a Ficus Elastica rehab that I got from my friend that actually had spider mites really bad uh, when I first got it. And I also noticed she had these little mealybugs sitting on the very top. So, we are going to go ahead and treat her the same exact way that we just treated this Marble Queen. I have my alcohol and neem oil water mixture here in my spray bottle, and we're just going to go to town on this guy. So, like I said, this plant was actually already in rehab from spider mites when it caught the mealybugs from my other plant. And I actually got the mealybugs from a plant that I brought home from a road trip to Louisiana that I did not know had pests, and that is what introduced them into my home. So, I cannot um, express the importance of wiping down your new plants before you introduce them into your collection. That is the biggest lesson that I've learned out of all of this. Alright, so I've wiped her down, her leaves are nice and clean, shiny, no more bugs at all. She does have a new leaf that is trying to come up out of there that the mealybugs were destroying, so I'm going to keep a close eye on her 
and uh, see how she does. All right, so fast forward a few weeks later, there is a new shiny leaf. She's doing so well. She uh, has not had any more issues since that last treatment. I have treated her since then. Um, and yeah, she just seems to be thriving. I am just so happy with this plant. She does still have that permanent damage left over from the spider mites, but she is happy and thriving now and that's all that matters. So I'm going to show you guys a picture of her about six weeks ago, the day I got her and transferred her to Lekka, which she did great in, and to now. Six weeks later, she's got a new leaf and she is well established in the soil. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something and that it was helpful to you. If it was, please like this video, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.